Good evening, people from the Elkhart Mile Railroad Club in Elkhart, Indiana. My name's Randy Robbins, and I'm here to show you how to turn this into this here. What I do is I'll take these little Roco mini tanks and I disassemble them if they're not already disassembled. You can pick them up at train shows on eBay. And I will disassemble the whole thing and I will wash it down. Try to get off any dirt, any oil, anything on it. And I get that cleaned off and get it dried. And then I will take testers, uh, model master spray nam uh, flats. And this is olive drab FS34087. And I will paint this with it and let it dry real good and then after it dries it will have a base coat some just like this and before I paint it one of the things I do for realism is I will drill a hole inside the gun tube here because as you can see on this one if you can see it there's no hole in it and there is a hole side to side if there's not, I'll make sure there's one. That's the muzzle brake. So I'll drill a small hole in there and, and then I'll paint it. And then after it's painted, I'll add other details like I'll paint the road wheels, the black on them. It's rubber. The return rollers had rubber on them too. And then the vision blocks, these little specks right here, they're blue. I painted them blue. You can paint them silver if you want, but it being with the hatch is all closed, there'll be no light getting inside the tank, so it'll be a darker color. And then the headlights, I'll paint the headlights on them. And this one here doesn't appear to have any infrared lenses in it, so they're silver lights. There's no tail lights on the back, or I would have painted those if it had tail lights on it. And that's about it. And then once I get it all painted and the details on it like I want, then I will apply decals, stars on them. This is an M47 patent. They built it as a result of the Korean War. The turret was from the T-42 experimental tank. And the hull was from the M46 Pershing. And they just needed to get something built quick because we went to war with Korea. And they realized the tanks we had weren't enough, and some of them weren't up to the job, like the Sherman. And they built over 8,500 of those. And I like them because they're plentiful. I've seen them at shows. And Cox, at one time, they produced them on the flat car with this little system here to put the tank on. Now, I know some of you that are into more realism you want to tie them down and that's fine you can tie them down with thread maybe even some real small chain but if you do tie them down basically there's hitches that would be there where they molded them snaps in to lock it in or back here and you'd have to find a way to tie them down from the front they don't have the hitches on the lower hull but they would tie them down there. But I put them in there because I take them out. It's just easier for me. You can buy flat cars for them. This is a Tyco flat car. If you can't find the original Cox or uh, Model Power, is I got just released some a couple years ago. This is a Tyco flat car here, and it's very nice because these little holes here you can run a piece of thread there to help tie the tank down if you want to tie it down and make it look look a little more realistic and even with this this is a I believe a coil steel hauler cable reel load it says and this is what you're looking for if you want to use this particular flat car here and you can just do something with that if you want to use one of these you even have this wood here that you could use to maybe help uh, use it as blocks. You could trim it off and make it look more realistic if you want. 
pictures on the internet if you can find them or we have one club member here Gary Mr. Presnell thank you this is his book this tells you all about how to loading of commodities on open top cars but it shows rules governing the loading of mechanized and motorized equipment transported by the ground forces also major caliber guns for the United States Army and Navy on open top equipment which would be flat cars and this book come out in April issued April 1st 1941 during the war so this uh, has a lot of useful information in it on how they were tied down how they were blocked it shows wheeled vehicles uh, Jeeps in particular deuce and halves even motorcycles if you can get motorcycles and it also has the tanks but pretty much I mean when I paint them I use testers enamels flat enamels for the tank itself like the road wheels are flat back black you can paint them I just paint them new I don't weather anything which I mean I'm sure a lot of you if you prefer you can weather I used to be a tanker in the military and this is where I got the ideal from because when I was in Germany we loaded our Abrams tanks on rail flat cars and took them to Grafenveer and Hohensfels. So decals you can get these from uh, I got these from micro scale I ordered them through John Hall's hardware in Goshen and uh, these are for Jeeps and armored vehicles half tracks um, self-propelled guns deuce and halves and the instructions inside if you're not familiar with marking vehicles it just gives you like a half track if you can and a Sherman tank the instruction sheet shows you for World War II vehicles except the Jeep was around until the late 80s early 90s the half tracks were gone sometime in the late 50s 60s <coughs> And the, like I said before with the M47, it was from 53 till about, it didn't last long because the M48 Patton, which I have, this is an M48 armored, M88 armored recovery vehicle. And I guess the company you can get them through now is Herpa. But I, oh, train shows is another place. A couple of these I've gotten at train shows. And they're not too hard to get, it's just, once you get them, then you got to decide, okay, what do you want to do? Do you want to do, because I want to do numerous tanks on a, make a complete train. I'm not familiar with the platoon structure, company structure of uh, M47 tanks, but as far as the Abrams, when I was in, there were four tanks to a company and 14, four tanks to a platoon, 14 in a company. You had three platoons of four each and two of the headquarters section, the CEO and his executive officer. And then they had two Jeeps, a Deuce and Half, and an M113. That was a, a tank company in the mid 80s with M1 Abrams. And a tank battalion did 56. So if you were going to do a whole battalion, you're looking at buying a lot of tanks and trying to find them as many as you can. But other than that, I mean, eventually it all goes from. These pieces, I paint those. The flat cars, I'll use like maybe these uh, water-based acrylics or you can use the tester flat enamels. I really like this color here, this burnt umber because it's dark and a lot of your wood and flat cars is awful dark. And uh, like this one here, if I was going to do it, I would definitely paint it a darker color. I'm Randy Robbins from Elkhart Model Railroad Club and here in Elkhart, Indiana. I thank you for your time.